If YouTube playlists are not your thing, you can find this course and more at poll.unfgames.com. It's easier to follow along and know where you left off. Now, let's start the video. Let's de delete some of this code and go to the next element of the Blueprint Editor interface, that is the component. This little tab will go hand in hand with the viewport and the blueprints are containers of components. Literally, a blueprint isn't showing me anything and can't do anything. By default, a default scene root is added as a component. And this is the component that lets us have a scale, rotation, and translation, and lets us drag and drop a blueprint into a map. Now, this will be a coin pickup, so we can add components to make it look like a coin pickup. For example, we would need an static mesh of a coin, which I do not have, but I could add a component here, an static mesh, and add a coin mesh. I believe there is a cylinder here. Yeah, basic shapes, cylinder you will see that there are a lot of components and you even can create more components to create a specific functionality for whatever you want to do. I needed a cylinder, now I have my cylinder and we will call it static mesh coin. Now I will rotate this and I will scale it in order for it to look like a coin. That's more like it. Now, we will, I will press save and compile. And what this does is, now in my viewport, I see an static mesh of a coin, which means that in my map, I will also see the static mesh of this blueprint. And I could drag and drop more, more of them. For example, counter drawer, BP coin pickup. I can draw, I, I, I can place more of them. Now, whenever we're working with components, we need to know which one is the root component. In this case, it will be the top, the top one. So it's the default scene root. The root component can only be changed in scale because the rotation and the location are being changed in the world. This means that any other component that is attached to the scene root, we can change the relative location. So if I wanted to change the relative location, I can just select the component and here in, in my viewport, I can I will select the component, press W for the transformation widget, E for the rotation widget, or R for the scale widget. You can change them also from here. And well, Q for selection, Q. So maybe I want to place the blueprint and not be overlapping the the ground, well, I could make it, so I move this static mesh a little bit higher. I could also change it from here, the location. And now I will compile, save it. Whenever I drag and drop the relative scale of the new ones, I'm sorry, the, rel the relative location of the new ones, has been changed and on, on the old ones also. So having a blueprint will help us make one change and it being propagated to every other blueprint. Now, for now I will leave it like this. I also need a way for my pickup to be picked up. So let's also create a component to handle the collisions. This one is called collision and I want an sphere collision. 
Now, whenever we add a component, it will attach itself to the component currently selected. In this case, it was the static mesh coin. Sometimes you want this behavior because whenever a component is attached to another, if I move the parent, then the other components attached will also move. So that's, that's really useful. But in my case, well, I moved the coin for, so for now it, it's, it's good enough, but if I wanted to unattach it, then I just need to drag and drop on top of the component. I want to detach it and that's it. Now, whenever I move the coin, the sphere won't move. And I will try to position my sphere as at best as I can. For now, let's leave it there. And, and yeah, let's continue.